In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix undeposited funds in QuickBooks Online. This is a common issue that many users encounter, and resolving it can help ensure your accounts are accurate. Let's dive into the process and tackle this step by step. First, you'll want to sign in to your QuickBooks Online account. Navigate to your browser and type in the necessary details to access the QuickBooks website. Once there, choose QuickBooks Online from the list of options. After making your selection, type in your credentials. This includes your username and password. Ensure you've entered each detail correctly to avoid any login issues, then click the continue button to access your dashboard. Once logged in, you'll find yourself at the home page. From here, you need to direct your attention to the transactions tab. Click on it to expand the menu options available under transactions. The transactions tab serves as the hub for tracking all your financial activities and adjustments. Next, locate and click on Chart of Accounts. This option is essential because it presents a full list of your financial accounts in QuickBooks, acting as a blueprint for organizing all financial information. Within the Chart of Accounts, you'll want to search for undeposited funds. Use the search bar provided to ease this process by typing in undeposited funds and hitting the search button. This will bring up transactions and accounts related specifically to undeposited funds. Now with the undeposited funds account displayed, you'll want to click on view register. Doing this allows you to see a detailed ledger of all transactions that haven't been finalized or deposited, offering transparency and insight into pending transactions. After accessing the register, locate the specific transaction that needs adjusting. Click on this transaction to highlight it and prepare it for editing. Often, issues with undeposited funds occur when transactions have been recorded but not processed correctly toward the bank deposits. So this step is crucial in pinpointing and resolving those discrepancies. Next up, you'll want to click the edit button once you have the transaction highlighted. This allows you to modify any necessary details, whether it's the amount, the date, or categorizing the transaction. Ensuring everything aligns with your bank records is vital. After making the required adjustments, don't forget the final step. Click save and close. This will finalize your changes and update your records in QuickBooks, ensuring everything is correctly accounted for. And that's all there is to it. You've now successfully fixed undeposited funds in QuickBooks Online. Remember, frequently reviewing your charts and transactions and maintaining accurate records helps immensely in managing your finances efficiently. Thanks for joining me today and see you in the next tutorial.